everything to help the spirit to the right for our salvation. Bear your blessing and give us life. Come and abide in us and let us know the eternity and save our soul from the mind. Glory to God in the highest and lowest peace and devotion to men. For everything to come the spirit to the glory of our fellow soul babies. Praise your blessing and give our life. Come and abide in us and let us know the eternity and save our soul from the mind. So I'm going to wish you all this on you. So the good, but for the end. For heavenly king, the comfort of the spirit of truth, for every word, for the salvation. Pray your blessings in your world of life. Come and invite us to bless us in your impurity and save our souls of the body. O Lord, open not my lips, but my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Yeah. 
shall sing with you his mighty arm. He has trampled down death by death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and has granted the world great mercy.
Sing praises to our God. Sing praises to our King. Wisdom. We give the epistle of St. Paul to the Ecclesians. Let us turn. Brethren, may you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption for the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For him and all things were created, in heaven and on earth, invisible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions, or principalities or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. That in everything he may be permanent. Peace be unto you, O Spirit. Master then said to the servant, 
go out on the highways and hedges and compel people to come in that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of these men who are invited shall taste my banquet. For many are called, but few are chosen. Someone came in a different time of the year. I remember being in a choir in Steubenville and people whispering, Did they murder somebody? I mean, did they? Oh my God, what did they? If they had to have done something really bad. But you just heard the gospel this morning. The great invitation for the guests of the master to come to the banquet, of course. Symbolically, of course, the bank represents the Holy Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ. I want you to focus on the word that was used in the gospel. The master, in anger, said to a servant the third time around, go and compel people to come. You know what that word compel means, right? Make them come. St. Augustine, another early saint of the church, mistakenly wrote, we must force people to come to church. We must force people to take the Eucharist. That's not what that gospel reading means. Again, I go back to three times the master will now get more guests to come in. The word compel in the religious sense means be persistent. Be persistent. We all have choices in, in life, right? We all have choices. And there are some choices that we do not have. We can't choose our blood relatives. We can't choose how we look, whether we have hair or not. We can't choose if our nose is big or small. We can't choose if we are light-haired, dark-haired, tone of our skin, whatever. We can't choose whether we pay taxes or not, right? We can't choose how the economy is. And yet God gives us the choice. Think about this. We're given the choice where to spend 
our eternity. He gives us that choice. The moment we're baptized, we're given the choice to live our life following Christ or in life to reject Christ. Following Christ means, back to the invitation, when you come to the Holy Liturgy, you come to the chalice. That is the only reason and purpose for you being in church at the Holy Liturgy, to receive the blood of Christ. There's no other reason. Not to say, hi, how you doing? Good to see you. Nope. Not to give your envelopes. Nope. It's to receive the body and blood of Christ. How do we know that? Christ himself said. Do this in remembrance of me. Every time you take this bread, you partake of my body. He didn't say it once or twice a year. He said, every time. So that's the choice we have. And we need to start realizing that that choice, of whether we come or not come, it's going to have a pretty serious effect on where we spend our eternal life. Absolutely. Absolutely. I remember when I was in second or third grade, it was a show and tell. And Miss Lodge, our teacher, said, bring what you like the most that you got for Christmas. And of course, that was the year I got my line on train. So I brought in my submarine car, which I still have. It's like 62 years old, that car is. I brought it to, to show everyone. But Stephen made a little mistake. He told a wonderful story that my dad and I made the submarine. I stood in front of the whole class, held that submarine car up, and said, My dad and I made this. We painted it, we lettered it. We did everything, and we attached it to our trade. The kids were. Miss Law just stand in the back of the I went home. Of course, you should know, stupid at all. You go to grade schools. Everyone knows everyone's business. So we get on the bus to go home. Everyone knew that little Stevie Rockledge gave a submarine that was made by his mom and his dad and himself. He went to school. I got home. My mother's waiting at the door with a wooden spoon. She said, Didn't you just take communion last Sunday? I said, Yeah, Mom. She said, What did you do in school today? We had shut and go. What'd you bring? My submarine. She said, What'd you say? I go, I said, it's my son, it's my train. Oh, what else did you say? No, I did not. She goes, that's two lies. <laughs> and you just took communion. You're going to hell. Until the next communion, I thought I was going to hell. What's the point? The point is, we have to be very careful how we live our life. Because the devil will constantly try to seduce us in doing things that take us away from that spirit of coming all the time to Holy Communion, of coming to the church and receiving. It will constantly make us think about other things that are more important. Right? Tell little white lies. Cut corners at work or whatever. But remember, in the fear of God, and with faith and love, draw near. Come with you. Let us say with all our soul and our mind, let us say.
Let him pray for his grace and all the misery today, for peace be in all the clergy, for all my brethren in Christ. Also, both bodies for our forces and members of our royal family. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. I can pray for the blessed of the Lord of God's patriarchs, the blessed of the fathers of this holy house, all of our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters. You are the last to part this night before us, especially when we departed John, George, Becky. Beverly, Child, Benjamin, Latina, Zanata, Eli, Gladda, Joseph, William, and the invited servant, Franco, who here in the world lies sleep with the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. All day we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, for the servants of God, for well, then on the hand of Eva, the child Mason, Melanie, Karen, the child Jane Elizabeth, the child Daniela, Melba, Brian, Dorian, Eugene, Dorothy, Betsy, Nancy, Stephanie, Gary, Margaret, Milena, Marcia, and all the parish shamans, and with the point of mission of their sins. Can we pray for those who bring up the good to this old and little house? For those who are there and those who sing, and for all the people here present, await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Without the mercy of the love of mankind, and to thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now we live into ages, of ages. Amen. Our in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, and God, always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now we live into ages, of ages.
Jsem si Christians, the founders and benefactors of this holy nomen of the house. May the Lord God remember his kingdom always, now and ever, to ages of ages. His grace upon the bishop and all those in the priest of the Latin master of earth. May the Lord God remember his kingdom. Always, now and ever, and to ages of ages. The President of our country and all civil authorities are armed forces and members of the royal family. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom. Always, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Thus, take of the suffering of all those who have asked us, I'm more than to to pray for them. Especially the handmaid of God, Eva, the servant of God, Eugene, all those in hospitals, nursing homes, personal care homes, prisons, and institutions. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. All of our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters, the Orthodox depart this life before us in faith and hope of the resurrection. In the departed servants of God, John and Franco, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of angels. All those throughout the world have known and prayed for them. May the Lord God remember this kingdom, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. You and the Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always.
Glorious holy house and blues are with the thing reverent to the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, and mercy us.
singing a triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying,
my heart the length of days, writing to define the word of my truth. Now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. And the mercy of our great and Savior Jesus Christ shall be with all of you. And with your spirit. Have we all the same together again in peace on us great the Lord? For the precious gifts of and sanctified let us pray to the Lord. I go to love spend time receiving what is holy and when I go all towards the sweet spiritual fragrance. Well send out of us with divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. For I give us more affliction, wrath, pain, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us save us and mercy and us to keep us, O God, by thy grace. Let the holy, perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Our mission of our sins and transgression, let us ask of the Lord. May it be great that our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Our mission into our life, pain, and sins, and peace, for the good defense before the good judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask the Lord. Have we asked for you to the faith, to you the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our lives unto Christ our God. Peace for the winners, bloody foes, and those who have no solution at all. Spirit of the divinity, the man of the of the whole God, all sad, people and volunteer.
Hi, Vaughn. Glorify the return of the divine power, and forsake us not before our open need. 
Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift from above, from God and the Father of lights, and to thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever to ages of ages. Thank you all. 